Hi, I'm Marion Small, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this particular activity called wrapping a prism. What we do in this activity is we tell students that there is a rectangular prism, and instead of telling them the dimensions of the prism, we tell them what the surface area of the prism needs to be close to. And it's their job to figure out what the lengths, widths, and heights could be to make that happen. So it's kind of a backwards way at looking at surface area formulas or surface area concepts. What students do is they place the prism on a grid and they use the sliders to both change the dimensions of the prism and to unfold the prism to see what, this, what we often call the net looks like to make the surface area easy to calculate. Um, so they get to play around with what's possible. We pick the number close to 75, and 75 was chosen on purpose um, because normally when we have whole number dimensions, the surface area is an even number because there's two of those and two of those and two of those. Um, so we purposely picked an odd number so that students wouldn't feel the need, and in fact they can't be dead on, and that turns out to be kind of a useful idea for students to fool around with. They, learn, they can look at the prism from different perspectives and they can flatten it down. Um, they should be noticing that there were two faces that were the same area and another two and another two. So all of those ideas we want them to have about surface areas of prisms will arise. But what's great is that you can actually see what the area is because there is the net and because we are in a grid and because we can count. And we can fool around so easily with changing the dimensions because there are sliders to let that happen. Once students have solved this problem, um, of course they could solve it again and try other ways, but there are choices of other numbers the students can also use, and they might look at this problem again using a different number and applying the very same ideas.